What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today is going to be a quick start guide for Starfield. Now, basically, what that means is I'm going to take you from the beginning of the game, especially if you're a new player, to getting you set up with the UC missions and the UC Vanguard missions. So, we're going to go from the very beginning with no mods because we want the achievements, right? All the way to the UC Vanguard and joining the Vanguard because that is the best quest line. But I'm going to have a few tips and tricks along the way. So you're going to want to watch this through so you can see where I'm going and what I'm doing. Because this, for me, this seems to be the most efficient way to get started in Starfield. And that's the bottom line, right? We all want to enjoy Starfield and I want people to enjoy it. So I want you guys to get started if you're new to Starfield or if you're doing another playthrough and haven't started in a while. This could be a good refresher for you, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start now. We're going to do a, uh, a vanilla playthrough. Because we want to keep our achievements for now. And, uh, you know, there's a way to, to disable them. But I'm going to keep it simple because whether you have mods or not, this is a good way to get started. Okay, so it works for everyone. So we're going to start vanilla. We're going to start from scratch. Uh, I might speed or slow down the footage to get through it quicker, whatever works best in the editing process. I am, uh, I'm going to show you basically, you know, everything you need to know to get started and enjoy the game. I want people to start enjoying the game. I don't want them to feel frustrated or lost in some kind of way because Starfield does start differently and a little bit slower than some other Bethesda games. Once you leave the mining facility, you can't just go out and do whatever you want, like in every other Bethesda game. This one is a little bit more on rails, but then you do get that second moment where, hey, look, you're free to explore anything. And that's where I come in. I'm going to give you the quick start guide. We're going to be right there to the UC Vanguard best quest line. You're going to be set with money. You're going to be set with weapons and you're going to be set with the object objectives and what to do. Now, I am going to go into the settings and we are going to adjust it to get plus 12 percent experience. Now, the new settings, we're going to adjust it to add to add immersion, to add playability and make the game way more fun. And I have the perfect setup for the settings from being a Starfield veteran. And for someone who started multiple new games, I found the best settings for that for me. I think you will enjoy, too. We're going to go through that and get started. All right. Thanks. Let's get into it. All right. So here we're going to go into our gameplay settings. So enemy combat damage, I am actually going to put this on extreme. The reason why is because we want combat to feel more weighted. We want it to have a purpose and we don't want it to be too easy. Our combat damage, we're going to leave on normal because enemies can easily become bullet sponges. We don't want that. Enemy ship damage, we want that on hard. That's going to give us an extra 2% XP because we want ship battles, just like with the combat, to mean something. Ammo weight off. We don't want that. We want maximum carry capacity. Why? Well, in Bethesda games, carry capacity is always an issue. So we want the max carry capacity. We're going to offset that uh, here in a second by setting to where we only access cargo inside the ship, right? Vendor credits, we want to have, we don't want reduced. We want to have increased vendor credits, okay? That's only going to give us a negative 2%. Medical item healing. We're going to put that actually slowly because that adds more immersion and it's going to make you play more strategically. For example, you'll have to wait for your stim pack to heal you before you can go back out and battle. It makes you approach situations differently. Trust me, it's good to have that on. Food healing. We're going to leave that normal because we're going to need a lot of food. Sleep healing is going to be normal. Sustenance, we are going to put positive and negative. And what that means is it will it will give a purpose to food and you will want food and water on you like you would in Fallout New Vegas, like you would in Fallout 4 on survival mode. So we want that. Combat affliction gain, you are going to want to increase that. Trust me, because like the other settings, Increasing the combat effectiveness of, you know, afflictions is going to add weight and determine how you approach combat. Affliction treatment normal because we don't want anything crazy. Environmental damage and afflictions, I'm going to put that as advanced. That's also because it's going to make us change our strategies, where we land, where we want to build our bases. And also, if you want to get different suits, 
four different environmental protections. You'll be able to do that with this. Environmental damage restoration, we're gonna leave that alone because we don't wanna fool with any of that. Uh, so overall, we're at plus 16% XP here. So we're at plus 16% XP. And if you really want to, you could do very hard enemy ship damage. That works too. You could go to 18%. Uh, 16 is good for me. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, we're going to start with that plus 16. We are going to go to a uh, new game. So we're just going to do a new game here. We're going to confirm. All right. So we're going to start a new game from scratch. Vanilla. No creations. No uh, no mods. No nothing like that. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to make my character real quick. I'm just gonna use a default now. There are plenty of character settings to get into. There, you know, there's so many options. So you could really build the character you want. But for me, I'm not really doing that because this is a guide. So there's no point in me going through all of that for the guide. There's no point in me sitting through, you know, certain dialogues either. You know, it's for the guide. So so our purpose is to See get you started moment. where you need to Oxygen's be, good. and that's what we're going to Just do. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's now, my one simple rule? Uh, for some lady, reason, we can't skip these things. Best. We should be able to exactly. skip this. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credit. Uh, so for some reason, you can't skip a lot yeah, of things. Totally. So that's it's why I like, said it's a um, slow start. But the, start the dialogue Except and everything's uh, really good. So. Lasers and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're going to be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Group hug now so there, the there's no skipping this or fast forwarding through One this. I I, I will speed I it up on the video be. editing side promises, though. Promises. So you're going to see this go by really quickly because uh, when you play, you can experience the dialogue for yourself, right? You're going to want to sit through it and kind of grab and kind of get immersed and kind of, okay. you know, absorb the story a little bit. So for that? this purposes, like I said, we're going to uh, speed this longer. up. But for Grab you, you guys are going to, you know, want to sit uh, through it and kind of get involved in, especially if it's your first sure time playing the uh because the story is pretty good one once, once you get into it and all that good Run stuff so uh yeah Remember so that. this is probably going to be sped up on stay. the editing side of things we are going Oxygen now you can see the graphics are fantastic i like the lighting the cave is designed really well uh not not too not too much to complain about here you know, you're you're going to enjoy the graphics. They're very pleasant, whether you are on Series X or PC. Now they do have FSR three and they do have the LSS, so you're going to be fine on PC for the most part. I don't foresee uh, any issues now with the performance modes that are available that you'll have any issues uh, playing the game. Minimal at this point, occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? And now we can see, you know, the, the PC animations, the NPC animations are pretty good. The NPCs are, uh, they do things, you know, they use workbenches, they, they, they mine and they do things. They don't just stand there. Um, they actually do things. They walk around, you know, um, I don't think it has the same, uh, radiant AI as say something like Oblivion had where everyone has a schedule. I think there are too many NPCs for that, but, uh, you know. Uh, hopefully they can improve that and some of the, uh, you know, NPCs are improved in the cities with the new expansion, I hope. Dusty, you're up. Take that cutter you grabbed and mine what you can. But Maybe as you can see right happen. here, I'm all of the, everything's you. detailed, everything's fully rendered and 3D animated, even down to those little clips, you know, uh, on the, uh, you know, spacesuits. So, we are good on that one. So basically, you're going to use the cutter all throughout the Starfield experience. This lets you mine materials. 
So you're going to use this ultimately, and you'll see here that we're going to mine materials. Now, you do need to concentrate the fire beam. So you're actually going to use, you hold down on, you know, the right, uh, the right mouse button button or the aim down sight button, I should say, if you're on console. So you hold down the aim down sight button, it concentrates the beam. It's going to let you mine materials a lot quicker. So I can demonstrate that. So if we don't aim down the sight, you see how much longer it takes to get it. Now, if we do aim down the sight, concentrate the beam, boom, it takes a couple of seconds. So that's one trick I didn't know until late in the game. So we definitely don't want to do something like that, right? You want to, uh, you know, aim down the sight and get the uh, thing going. All right, so we're going around with Supervisor Lynn. And, you know, she's pretty well written. written. She's pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah, and we're going to keep going with this uh, until uh, we get to the next scene where we grab the artifact that is coming up soon. Uh, so we have a really good detailed mining machine here. You can see it's actually mining. It's doing pretty good. Uh, once this rolls out, we're going to the chamber. We're going to, you know, extract the first artifact. Now, uh, I'm not going to spoil it and tell you what the artifacts do in case this is your first time. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to leave uh, leave on with this right now. We're going to lead on with this and um, I will uh, minimize myself, get through this because I might speed up the footage. You never know uh, how I'm going to feel on the editing side. So let's get started. Not if you can... So you can see they kind of put this on rails, you know, and I've mentioned that a few times. So, you know, we're going to go through this cave system and then uh, we, we are going to be able to mine the artifact. Shouldn't take too much longer. Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Right, 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 right. Why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Oh, okay. Do your jobs. Client is on his way. So now in here, uh, I do have to say, so in here, I do have to say there is a tip to get some rare materials before you even start. So you're going to see here, we have some beryllium. So look around, you're going to see different deposits and you're going to be able to get some rare metals, some materials that you might need for the crafting and research station. So although the objective is here to get the artifact, you can typically get some rare materials wherever the artifacts are, right? So right now you can see we're going to, it takes a little bit to get that, but we got some uh, kel kelmite, calumite. I don't know how to pr pronounce that, but you'll see it on screen. And so, we, yeah, we want to do that and uh, get some rare materials in here. That's going to help you out later in the game. Whenever you need some materials, you'll have some here. You can see here we were we have the gravity waves playing around, so we're just gonna go ahead and extract this artifact. It's pretty straightforward. And like I said, aim down the sight. Make sure you aim down the sight. You'll see the curse cursor crosshair go down, aim down the sight, free uh the artifact, and then we're gonna be good to go. And we're going to have that Skyrim Fallout New Vegas type thing where we make our character. That's where you're gonna go on a character creation. We're going to pick our traits and I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna do a brief overview of the traits, right? So we're gonna do a brief overview of the traits. Come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Right, hey, you. You're finally awake. Yeah, so now we pick our characters. I'm going to go an overview of, overview of everything. And then I'm going to do an overview of the skills and traits and kind of pick out the best one. 
So here we have a bunch of Easter eggs from different people and different TV shows. Uh, Skyrim Grandma's in here. You know, all different types of people. So, you know, we, you know we'll uh, we'll pick Skyrim uh, Grandma because I think she's in here. So we'll just go with that for right now. You can see Kelly, the astronaut, Skyrim Grandma. We'll just pick that. We'll go ahead, go to the body. We're just going to leave that alone. But you do have body types. You do have walk style. You do have skin tone, okay? And, uh, of course, like anything else, you're going to have, um, you you know, the shapes of the face. You can zoom in and out. And you can see these are really good graphics. There's nothing wrong with the graphics. I think the hair textures could be done a little bit better. But everything looks really good in detail. So, yeah, you go to the hair color. We can change that up as much as we want. We can uh, pretty much do anything you want here. You have eyes, nose, teeth, jewelry, yeah, facial forms. The usual stuff you would expect in Bethesda. So we're going to leave everything, like I said, everything based right now. We're going to go to our background. Background is kind of important because it, it's like your first three levels, right? So it's kind of important. Most of the time, it's good to start with, an, uh, with uh, you know, a soldier or something like that. Now, uh, Beast Hunter is pretty good to start with because we have gastronomy. Ballistics, fitness. Now, that's good because... We chose to have food sustenance, so gastronomy is going to be able to make it. We can make better foods with that. You know, you have bouncer. Bounty hunter is really good because you'll get piloting right away, which helps with space combat, targeting control systems, and boost pack training. That's a good jump, too, if you are going to do pirates or if you want to do the Crimson Fleet quest first, you might want to do bounty hunter. Now, they have chef. Chef is kind of... Not really that useful here. Combat combat medic can be good if you want to use pistols. Combat medic is good. Uh, diplomat, not really that useful because, we again, we can level all these skills up on our own. We have Explorer. Lasers is pretty good. Um, Astrodynamics. Gangster, if you want to use shotguns and theft is cool because you can pickpocket. But the thing with Gangster is you can't really pickpocket until later when you get better, uh, you know, sneak anyway. So it's, it doesn't really benefit you to have that. Instead, of you have you have better uh, better skills and you have you know increased uh, you have better skills, increased carrying capacity. It's not very useful. Industrialist is cool, I would say. If you want to do the Ryu and Industries first, Industrialist can be good because you can use a lot of persuasion. Persuasion. You have the security. And you also have research me methods, long hauler. That's good if you want to do the Crimson Fleet. Again, you're going to have a lot of space battles at the end. Scavenging ceremony, gastronomy, Professor Ronin. If you do want to use melee stealth and scavenging, Ronin can be good. Melee weapons got a buff, but since our enemy damage is on extreme, we don't really need to start with that. Uh, soldier's good because you get you do you do get fitness, ballistics, and boost pack training. That's probably one of, you know, the best starting, uh, you know, skills. We have Space Scoundrel, which, which is pretty good because we have Persuasion, which is going to help us really early on. Piloting, which is going to help us early on. And we also have Pistol Certification if you want to use pistols. Now, there's a Xenobiologist. Again, we this is, I think, there's only a couple with lasers. This is one of them. File not found. You know, you don't really have anything going on, but... You do get wellness, ballistics, and piloting. Honestly, you know what? I might I might not do gastronomy. I might actually do a uh, soldier. Fitness, you know, you have fitness with the oxygen. We have wellness, overall sense of health, and even gain prolonged life expectancy. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do file not found. We're going to take that route. And then you go to your traits. Now you have all kinds of crazy stuff with traits. Uh, Dream Home, Alien DNA, you volunteered for an experiment, so you have increased oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. We already did that because we've already set those settings. Now you have Raised Universal, Serpent's Embrace. Those are going to give you different dialogue options depending on what factions you meet up. I always like to do United Colonies Native because I find that gives you the most uh, extra extra dialogue options because there are a lot of conversations where United Colonies Native will give you some extra dialogue options. So that's pretty good to do. 
And as you can see, you can only pick one of those types of things. Now, introvert is good. So if you're exerting yourself, uses less oxygen when venturing alone, venturing to other humans, companions can't be combined with extrovert. Uh, you know, we're just going to leave that off for right now. And I think the other one I do like, uh, you know, automatically pair itself full health whenever it's damaged. Look, our all crew costs twice as much to hire. See, now this is OK because you're going to make a lot of money. So it makes sense to do Taskmaster and it's just going to help you out with your ship. So I do like that. And Terra Firmer. So uh, you're acclimated to uh, you've never acclimated to space, basically. So health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decrease when you're in space. Most of the time you are going to be on the surface of planets. So I do like Terra Firmer. And also, I feel like if you're in space, you are going to be more vulnerable. So it is good from, you know, that kind of perspective. It is, you know, adds more immersion to me. So we're just going to go with this and hit E. And, you know, we're all set. Okay, I right, finish. Select a background. Oh, we got to do background. Didn't I do background? I thought I picked file not found. Yeah, we did that. And name, uh, I'm just going to say... Uh, G Mama, we're gonna do with that, and we should be G Mama, G Mama. Uh, okay, enter. Yep, yep. Name, character, pronoun, blah blah blah. Confirm. Yep, we're gonna confirm and jump into the well, game. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Huh? Well, you passed out. That's for sure. So for the sake Everything of uh, speed, I'm Probably just going just to brain, uh, pick the first dialogue option Either for way, all of these, we got what we were you know, for. and you'll be able to read all and explore on your own, of course. Thing. But for simplistic, like simplicity's Never sake, I'm just going to pick like. the first dialogue it's option to get me through, uh, you know, the quest month. line. We'll be and look how good. I mean, this game is beautiful. I'm telling you, this game is beautiful. Look at that. So. We're going to follow well, Lynn. You don't look good. Now here it's not very uh it's not, not very clear, but I you're going to, to have to actually manually go into group? the menu and uh equip. I thought they were kind of a joke. Once we you're gonna have to here, actually equip a uh, helmet. Up. So it's not, not obvious. Joke. Let's see if I have it yet. Uh helmet, yeah. So you have to equip your helmet, otherwise you're gonna take damage. And they don't I don't know if they actually tell you that. Uh, extractor jumpsuit. You can see uh, you have Under Armour just like in Fallout and does different things. You have your packs, uh, your space suits, your weapon. We have the cutter still. Um, and I think we still have our. Yeah, we have our space suit on. So we just put our helmet on, but oh, it will not automatically protect you. If you walk outside without a helmet, hey, you will get saying, hurt. They got a you will take environmental Hell, damage. And just a side note, the, the cutter will actually do damage, uh, especially on the later game. Uh, well, it's probably not spoiled for you, but you get powers and the cutter can actually be pretty powerful if you, um, you know, get the, the late, the, all the laser buffs, it can be kind of OP later on in the game. You can do that. Hey, you did a good job, all right? That's up to you. Now let's go. Now, this is the opening. This is our vault opening experience. I do like that in Bethesda because all Bethesda games have this kind of experience, right? Where you go through the vault for the first time. Boom, we're out now. In a typical Bethesda game, you could just do whatever you want. And this is where, you know, the guy comes in for Starfield. We're going to get through this as quick as possible to get you to the fun parts. And uh, you could seamlessly chance, uh, you know, change between first and third person. It's really, really seamless. There's no lag with it at all. So it's pretty cool. Whenever you feel like doing third person, you could pop that up and take a look at your character. I like doing it when I'm inside. So I get to see, you know, the outfits and things like that. I like uh, seeing my uh, my guy or girl's outfit when I am there. We are just waiting here for uh, the main quest to begin.
Now, what's good that they do get you in the combat early, uh, as in you fight pirates relatively quickly and you go through your first dungeon relatively quickly. So that part is cool. Bit a long time. And you can see, look how good that looks so good. This looks so good. Look at all the details, you know, on the suit. You can even see his watch. Look at Vasco. Look at that. So that's so much so many good details here. Right here. The look. All look, even right. it, it even has bolts and, and screws. Cool? Just like those now that that skin. is insane. So yeah, don't let anyone ever tell you the graphics in Starfield cool. aren't good from out of context, you know, screenshots. These things are incredible. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> We're going to speed up through the dialogue. You can see the NPC actually holding the item. Uh, everything's fully, fully animated. Look at her, how good her suit looks. That's good. That's good. 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 I'm actually, I might take a screenshot of this. So. Nah, I kind of missed the opportunity. So here we're going to grab a weapon. We're going to get into combat with Crimson Fleet. I do not have hotkeys on, but uh, we are going to hotkey. So hotkey, you press B on keyboard and you're going to see you have a whole bunch of hotkeys going on. So you shouldn't have a problem with anything in hotkey and things. So we have abundance of hotkeys going on. Crimson Fleet's coming down. Now remember, we are on extreme combat difficulty or we take extreme damage. So we're going to position ourselves in a tactically sound place. Now, tactics do matter in this game where you place yourself. You see here, we can get get in on the side here and get some licks in while they are distracted. And headshots actually count. And you'll see here when I get a headshot, it will show. And you can get staggered. As you see, you can get staggered. But you see, I got the headshot. We will just take all of this stuff. So I recommend, uh, you know, approaching everything from the side. We are going to pick up everything because guess what? We have super capacity here. And I mean, we have a lot of capacity. We have a lot of capacity here. So we are going to take all of that. And you can see these weapons look fantastic. These weapons look so good. They're so detailed. We're going to take all of these things right now because because we are going to need to sell all of it and you can hit L and then you can take all with R so you can hit RR and it will take all and you can see we have a couple left and like I said before with the cutters you can see that the cutters are doing damage just not that much damage so that's it that's your intro to the combat and you can see how fluid it is we're jumping around we're you know we're shooting you know you can kind of zoom in this way you got your third person pretty much it's pretty fluid, you know. Uh, now we're going to continue on and talk to Barrett here. Barrett's a really good character. I like him a lot. And there are uh, quite a few quests and things like that involving Barrett. So. Now well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're... Marvelous. Now, I will say, too, I did take to I did put the setting on to where the camera doesn't zoom in on faces just to add more depth. Uh, I might change it later. I personally like zooming in. It's kind of classic like Oblivion, but I didn't put it on this time. She's not some minor anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dad. Again, I'm going to let you go through the dialogue yourself. That way you can experience the game. Hey, take on your own pace, right? This is your guide. Yep, we get our watch here, which is really cool. I will add in here. I will interject real quick hey, and say look at that this. the watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? I wish that the watch kind of worked more like the Pip Boy, so that we can go into the menus without actually blacking out the whole game. I think that would add a lot more immersion, you know, if we could use our Chrono Mark watch kind of like the Pip Boy. At least I think so. Some people don't want to do that. I feel like I'd rather go through my watch and have a Pip Boy like menu 
then have the menu that we do where it's all blacked out. So hopefully there's a mod that uh, that adds that on in the creation, you know, kit. And I will go to the store. I'll download that mod for sure. Even if it's paid for, I'll get that mod. I feel like I just want to use my watch like a pit boy. You know, if you played Fallout, it's just, it's just seamless to use a pit boy like a watch, you know, or a watch like a pit boy. Thinking it over? Good instinct. And you can see they, they respond if you, you know, of course, if you don't say something, but there are plenty of dialogue wow. options, you know, plenty of dialogue you options here. The way I see and this is your introduction and we, uh, we finally get the ship, but we still can't go wherever we want. We're going to go through a pirate base, which is cool because it is the first dungeon. We're going to get some loot. We're going to, uh, you know uh have a have a combat and get get rid of some pirates now Captain, you can see here we have some slates you know the drill vasco protocol indigo means no deviation, so we have no plenty plenty no plenty of war just like you would sure expect no in fallout or elder scrolls you can pick up a whole all kinds of items you know kitchen soap dispensers all of this stuff uh you can see the, the ship is extremely detailed we have a bed here let's sleep and get our health back Remember, we kept the setting on to where sleep gives us our health back. We don't want to have anything crazy. Now, as you can see, I just uh, got closer to an achievement on my skills. So this is the skill points. Now, to get ranks up in the skills, you're going to see here that it will actually give you some challenges to do that. And that's pretty cool. So it does have a perk system. It, there, there are no stat points, but they do have the perk system. But the perk system isn't just with level you have to do certain things to accomplish it so it adds a little bit more depth i kind of like the way it goes uh though i wish i had i wish it had a little bit more daggerfall elements to it most people probably don't because drag you know daggerfall is a little dated so let's take off and we're going to have a spaceship tutorial and it's going to ask us to power up every single one of our drives and i believe we can do that and skip it now, the space animations are pretty nice in this game. That planet right there, that, that is a real planet that does exist in the solar system. Anything you see does actually exist. So, I forgot how to power up. I think we have to power up everything. Yeah, so switch between system to allocate power. By powering up all systems, including the grab drive. Yeah, so let's let's see if we can skip the tutorial and power up everything. Yeah, so we learn to fly and basically on PC, you hold down the alt button and press the WD, WASD keys and you could, you know, adjust it. Now for space battles, you don't really need the grab drive. So I usually don't put it on for space battles. We are going to put shields and you do want a lot of engines, but missiles run out real quick. So we don't actually even need missiles. We're just going to use ballistics and lasers. And you're going to see you can fire all weapons at the same time and later you even get more. You're going to press E to lock on to certain things and just fly straight at them and there is a boost button. And then we have thrusters and if you have piloting, you can pilot the ship better. So we and you even have lock on. So there are lock on. You can see here, yep, we, we messed them up and you can loot the thing just from space, which is cool. Uh, there is also pirating. Pirating is going to come later when you target their ship's engines, you can do pirating. And I believe that's it here. And then you're going to hit the map and we're going to tab out and see where we're at. We should. Do we have the quest yet? We do not have the quest yet. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we had to wait for some more things to pop up. So let's take care of this. And this is what I was saying about, um, you know, keeping the uh, thing on hard instead of very hard for the ship battle, because with the ship battles, they do gang up on you pretty quick. And if you, once you get three or more ships, you really have to be careful what you're doing in combat. Uh, now, if you want the challenge, obviously you can put the battle up even higher. 
But you can see, you could either you could fire one, multiple weapons, or shoot missiles two at the same time. For me, I don't really need that in the beginning because the missiles take too long to charge. I don't use missiles on my ships. Now, what I recommend is getting all lasers and on your ships, and then later on, you can get other beam weapons. So I would only use the beam weapons later because um, I forget what it's called, but the beam weapons basically they do physical and shield damage, you know, evenly. Whereas in this, lasers specialize in shields and ballistics specializes in hull. The the uh, the beam lasers, I can't remember what they're called. The beam lasers actually get both. And you see we get some credits, we get some materials. Now we're going to travel to Crete here. Uh, but I'm going to uh, pick up the loot that we have. So you get some really good loot from space, especially in pirates from pir uh, or pirating a ship and good XP. So, you know, we're going to we're going to hit the map now. We have our scanner so you can actually see places to land or points of interest on the planets. You could also go here and you will see Crete is over here and I can press R and travel. That's a little bit more immersive is to use your scanner to get around different planets. Because using your, uh, you know, your scanner to get around or get around planets and, uh, you know, cities is a lot more immersive, kind of like what I said about the Pip Boy, than if you, you know, just uh, did it yourself. So here, this is going to say you get a star map, you get the creep thing, Crete thing, we're going to land, it's the research, research lab. And this is going to be our first dungeon. Once we get through this and get to New Atlantis, that's where, you know, the fun starts. But this is still pretty cool. If you're playing for the first time, you're going to like having a dungeon to do. I'm calling it a dungeon. It's a base, but it's pretty cool. You have some good dialogue. You get some good weapons. You, you kind of get used to the control. So it's pretty good. You can see here we got some we got some other ships going on. So there's always something going on anytime you land on a planet. You see, we have a beautiful landscape here. The gravity, what is the gravity? It's half gravity. So you'll see when you jump, the gravity and physics in this game are really good. When you jump, you'll see you can actually jump higher than you normally would. And you can go anywhere you want all over the planet and land anywhere you want. Alien creatures. There, There's no limit to where you can land. When you do land, it generates a, uh, a boundary map, an open world map, wherever you land. Then it permanent, it, it's permanently there. So if I land somewhere and I happen to have, you know, uh, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, event or, uh, you know, some kind of structure spawn, it's, it's, it should always be there when you go back to that spot. But the planet itself doesn't doesn't change all that much. So if you land near the water, you're going to be near the water. The planets do not change. I think people have a misconception about the, uh, you know, uh, procedural part of it. The planets were done procedurally, but they're all set planets. They're all named planets. So if I go to ages four, you go to ages four, we're going to see the same planet topside. And when we land, it you know, it generates the cells. From how I understand it. So we have the pistol. We're about to get in some combat. Now, I do want to change because I do not like pistols. We're going to find the one we have the most ammo for. Because this game is ammo intensive. So we only have the Maelstrom right now. So we're going to go ahead and hotkey that. We're going to hotkey and we're going to use the Maelstrom right now. This uh, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, some some maps are a little bit more involved in this, and uh, I'm not going to loot as much. But when you go through, I'd recommend looting some things and making sure you get you know all the med packs and things like that. And you could see if you didn't get the stealth perk, you're not going to see the sneak meter. Once you go here and you get the perk for sneaking, then you will actually see uh, you know stealth. You will actually see the sneak bar like you get in most Bethesda games. So they do actually make you put a point in sneaking to get that. But we should be okay going through here. Uh, I'm not as rusty as the last video I made. I've been playing Starfield and Daggerfall and Star and uh, Fallout a lot lately. So 
Uh, so yeah, we have amp med packs, you know, kind of like Fallout. You you get the uh, you know plus plus health, plus damage, all that good stuff. Prepare for combat. And you can see with normal damage, they're dying pretty quick. Actually, I need to check the settings, make sure make sure I have the settings on right. I'm not sure. They're dying a lot quicker than I thought. But we do have no normal damage. But you can see headshots matter. Uh, very detailed. And we're just going to take everything because we have such good carry capacity. And that's why you want it. But we did give ourselves some deficits, right? Like making it on extreme. But let me check those settings and see. All right. So we back. We're back. I had to go readjust the settings, but we are back. So now... We are probably going to be getting combat afflictions and wounds here now. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Let's get some let's get some headshots in here. Oh, yeah, my health is already low. Let's get a let's get a med pack in here. And I'm actually dehydrated and all that good stuff. Now, you can see how much difference that makes and I just got staggered. This guy is going to blow up. That's pretty cool. So, we do have some cool effects and things like that. Now we are going to loot everything like I said before and you will need the ammo for sure. You will need the ammo and you, you can see down at the bottom right how long it is taking for the med packs to heal because it is on slow. You know, instantly healing all of the time with infinite with infinite med packs that's not going to be challenging, right? So, you're you're going to be better off this way. You're going to like it. A lot of details in here, so you might want to explore the environments, kind of get used to doing that. Vasco uh, will kind of get in your way sometimes, so I usually don't take him with me. Just because he's, you know, he's a big, he's, <laughs> he's a big robot. That's right. That's usually why I don't take Vasco with me, because he's a big, big robot, right? So I usually don't take him with me. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to get some med packs so I can actually uh you know sir vibe wire spools you will need eventually that is a battle pack i am going to eat that right now it does give you a boost to i think damage and health and you can see here we have a board game we have all kinds of stuff and resting we have some med packs heart pluses uh you know all that good stuff like you would have in fallout uh if you've played fallout or elder elder scrolls you know you'll fit right in with the starfield uh environment for sure for sure you'll love it now, I did take the battle pack. The battle pack is, is a pretty powerful uh, food. Jeez, man, I need to uh, upgrade my uh, my, re my reload. Now, you do get faster reloads, of course. This is pretty slow for reloads right now. Warning. And all there's all this stuff to explore. There, there are some uh, useful things to loot. But like I said, we aren't worried about that. And you can see the lighting is really good. Uh, there are mods to improve the lighting, like darker, uh, darker nights. I do recommend darker nights because that will improve the lighting quite a bit when you are ready to download the mods or use the mod enabler where it, you can still get your achievements. If you've already played the game a few times, then you don't have to worry about it. Just get the, uh, the darker nights mod. You're going to want that 100%. Yeah, so, you know, I do like these control bursts. The combat's pretty engaging. Uh, just now, <laughs> I tried to use bats. You can see I've been playing Fallout. I literally just tried to use bats. Like, and you can see the enemies do uh, run around. They do have some pretty good AI here. Uh, we're going to see that. And now you can see what I was talking about, about the ammo. You can see I'm already down to 21 shots. Now, imagine if you left that, uh, you know where your damage was low, where you put your damage lower, you know, you would already be running out of ammo and stuff, right? So you'd already be running out of, uh, run of out of, running out of ammo a lot more. We have 159 on here. We are going to heal up. I didn't hotkey my heals. Yeah, I should hotkey the heals. Uh, and you do get some other weapons. I think we have a Grindel. Though I don't feel like the Grindel does very well. We do have a Grindel. And they, you can see they react to it but you can also see my health is still low so we know that although i kill them pretty decently quick which later on in the game it's not going to be as quick but they also hurt me pretty well so you can see i'm using some tactics here uh to go around and kind of do that now i'm gonna get some more ammo 
The environment's really cool. You can see species in here because people are testing these things out. So you can see all of that going on. And you can see they were, they're they reacting. You do want to get those headshots. You do want to get those headshots in for sure. You want to get those headshots. So. Now, I do want to point out, I don't have any inflictions yet. You can see my health going down, but I do want to point out here that I am dehydrated. So typically you're going to want to look for drinks. I'm sure there is something around here for a drink. Uh, I just haven't found anything yet. <laughs> And I'm not looking as much. So we have nutrient, we have digipix. Now digipix are going to, uh, you know, let you pick locks. Now I do have, you know, the emergency slate. This is going to give us an audio lock. We can't stop it. When, when we Just like Fallout in other games, you're going to get a lot of lore. And you can see we have the computers similar to Fallout here. And these are going to have, you know, this is foretelling things. So we have terramorphs. So they're doing I'm some sure testing on here. They were doing some Terramorph testing. You'll find out about that later. Um, we're going to see if I have another med pack. Yep, because we're about to go fight the uh, the boss of the dungeon. These are uh, heat leeches. Those come up later in the game. We'll get some nutrients, uh, which is going to give us tissue here. Uh, we have another slate which is, you know, kind of like the story, you follow it. And we have a safe. And this is going to be your digipick. Now, don't forget, you can actually scroll over here. So you can switch different, uh, you know, pick um, shapes depending on what you need. So the first one you pick might not always be the best one. And you line it up like this. So you can see we only have this one. And then we are... We're probably going to try this one. Let's see if this one fits. I don't know. That one's not going to fit. We are going to do that. And you can see here, we're going to do this one. So the first one they started you with is not going to be the correct one. Not all the time. Not all the time. And we are going to line up here, right there. And then you can see we have the last one. Now, I like the DigiPick system. Some people don't, but I like it. And you can see there, there are books in this game, just like Elder Scrolls. And we got a lot of credits. We're going to need credits because we're going to need food and drink. Now, we're going to go outside. And this is where we are going to be confronted with the boss. I'm going to let this play out, you know, in, in the full screen mode here. We're getting our med packs, we're getting our uh, solstice, we're getting our credits. Now that's going to probably be a pretty good weapon and we are going to equip that. We have solstice, space adept solstice. Uh, we have 111 rounds. Um, you know, yeah, we're going to equip, equip that. The Grendel looks cool, looks like a P90, but it, it doesn't do very much damage at all. So we'll, we'll use this as a last result. Let's go ahead and try the solstice out. So, this, and the solstice is a laser weapon. In this game, if you don't know, laser weapons don't have ballistic properties. So when you're in a space environment and you shoot ballistic weapons, it knocks you back. When you're in space in zero gravity and you use a laser weapon, it doesn't knock you back nearly as much because of be that. Me. The frontier has a you know, we, we have some good dialogue here, but... This is a guide, so we're, you know, uh, I, you know, you could lie and do that. So we're just oh. gonna go ahead and get through it. Now, the best way to deal with this is like I did with the other pirates is to approach them from the side. So we're going to let Vasco distract them and take out the leader. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that. And you could persuade and get that out of the way. You could do the persuasion game, pretty fun. So this is where I was talking about if you had the persuasion skill and trait in the beginning. I'm just going to attack here and have some fun. And we are going to come around over here. And we are going to get them from the side. He didn't know what hit him. 
Now, if you take them on head on, they, they can kill you. I made it look easy, but they can kill you. And we have a pretty cool suit right there. But yeah, they, they can kill you if you uh, take them head on, especially with the settings that we have right now, you know. And you can see they will run away. They will retreat. Did this guy run up all the way up here? I don't know where that dude went. Anyways, uh, yeah. So if you go up here, you'll see a weapon case. We'll get some more ammo. Uh, we'll get some med packs. You're going to need that. So you can come up here and loot all that. We can go down pretty easily here. Dang. And you can see how far away they're shooting right now. That's crazy. Damage registered. So the AI is not as bad as some people make it out to be. Oh, that's going to hurt. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that hurt. Let's see if we can get uh, get a med pack in real quick. Um, and we are going to take out these pirates. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yes. Oh, ow. That's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. And see, sometimes the best way to take on these guys is to go behind them. And you could, I'm missing my headshots here, but you could try to get headshots. But you saw that guy run away. Oh, and you see that, how easy it is to get killed? All right, now I did want to show you this. So if you do injure them enough, they will crawl around where they can bleed out. So he is actually going to crawl around and he could bleed out. He could possibly bleed out. And we do have to watch our health because these guys are tough, man. These guys can be tough right here. So tactics do matter and you could make an enemy bleed out. So you can see him crawling around and He's done for. That's it. Uh, I think there might be one more. You can see we had an epic piece of a loot there. So the loot is pretty cool in this game. You do have different grades of loot. You can find unique and upgraded loots. Uh, and you can fire from pretty far away. My aim isn't as steady with pistols because I don't have pistol training. Once you get uh, pistol training, it gets a lot better. All right, I think we're going to go have to deal with him or is it Vasco going to deal with him? There we go. Let's get him. Let's get him, Vasco. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now we are all set. Now I do have an affliction. Uh, let's see if I have anything to cure it. I do have an affliction. So you can see because we did those things, I have puncture wounds. <laughs> I have puncture wounds. I have sprain and I still have the battle pack. Uh, so I'm hydrated, I'm fed, so you can see the benefits here. Faster reload and carry capacity, all that good stuff. Now we have a sprain and we have puncture wound. The good thing about it in this game is it tells you what does what. If you see a red symbol, you could you can you could do the puncture wounds. Blue symbol does the blue. Uh, let's see if I have anything. I might have picked up something to do. Uh, I don't. Nope, I don't have a red. I don't have anything. Nope, I don't have anything to cure that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go with the flow right now. We're just gonna go with the flow, and we're gonna get back to uh, you know our ship, the frontier. Now I will say that if you go to this planet, you can scan stuff around. It does have gold, so if you do want some gold, now it does have gold deposits right around over here, 
there are some gold deposits if you want to if you like doing the mining and all that stuff you can pick up some resources while you're here don't let that stop you i mean you can pick up resources pretty much anywhere you go you can see here we have some iron so let me just go mark that just for the sake now once you scan something it'll show you everything the planet has right there on the side and you know you can go ahead and mark it so we got silver and we have iron and you will need that for the research station so if you want if you feel like it you can come over and and pick up some stuff uh let's see is this gold hmm i guess it's not letting us i guess that isn't gold uh but yeah you we have some resources here right around that so if you want to get some of that i do recommend it and you can see here we have a street stalker which is these are the creatures now to get the benefit uh you know uh the research and the survey data you will scan the creatures and you can see here i scanned the creatures 56 percent now there are fauna flora and resources so once you scan 100 percent of the planet your planet you'll get the research data will show 100 percent completion now these the animals can be good sometimes because they give you things like uh in this case fiber and you will need that if you want to craft certain things so like i said if you want to explore gather some resources here you can absolutely do that we have some iron going on right here we have some more silver right on the way to the spaceship so feel free to uh you know explore and do that that could be another tip and you can see here we have some creatures we can scan them and they are trilobite trilobite and you scan enough of them it will get completed so you can do all of that let uh let's and you can shoot them and kill them and get xp it is a good way to get xp so it's also a good way to get xp to you know hurt these poor little creatures you know you can feel bad maybe maybe you don't <laughs> all right now we're going back to our ship and this Captain, is where you know we're going to be heading to, to new atlantis we must jump to the planet Jemison in the we're Alpha going to be Centauri heading to new atlantis now so, uh, we new are atlantis. going to sleep and heal all this stuff don't worry this will all become second all right nature, but... let's see what i have here now and so we're just going to come over here and this is where you can, uh, you know, store resources and things like that. There's the captain's locker. There is the cargo on the ship. It does have a, you know, limit. So you could take all, you can store all. We're just going to, you know, go here to my inventory. We're going to go to resources, and, you know, you can hit T. It stores all the resources because the resources are. Because the resources are automatically going to apply at your workbenches when you get them on your ship. I think. Either way, it's easier, you know, to keep them in your inventory. Now, remember, like I said before, you don't have to break immersion when you're traveling. I think that is a misconception. Here, you can see we have the mission. You can open up the scanner, click it, and hit R. And you can go through it this way, and then we're going to grab jump. But guess what? You have to physically actually power up the grab job. So you drive, grab drive. So usually I use the engines to do that because you never know if you're going to jump to a system and be in the middle of a space fight. And you don't want to have to adjust and put your uh, shields or anything back up. But engines, it's okay as long as you have your shield. So I usually swap between grab drive and engines. That's usually typically what I like to do. Now you can see, is Starfield desolate? No, I can hail these ships. And each ship, they can be from different planets. They can be from different areas of the system. They can have different things about them. So I, I can hail this ship. Welcomes you. And you know, you'll get hails, and sometimes you can trade, and you see you have a econo hall. Pardon. 
And here I could either I could do piracy right in the beginning of the game and, and uh, take their ship. Obviously, we have security ships flying around that will destroy you. Uh, right, let's this, trade. Let me get this all down. And see, you could trade uh, some resources. Sometimes they have some rare resources. You can see we do need sealant. So I am going to buy sealant. I am going to buy all of it. And we do we do need platinum. I am going. Let's see. Do I have enough money? Yeah, I'm going to buy all the platinum. And I'm going to buy fiber because we do need we need all of that. So I'm going to buy all of that right away. So that's another good tip. We can do that and buy all of that right away. Now that we are scanned, we are going to add some engines so we can navigate here. And just like before, we are going to go to New Atlantis here. And let's see. We are going to New Atlantis. And we are going to go to New Atlantis over here. And as you can see, there are multiple different locations where you can land right off the bat. And you'll see here where it says land and you could select things and land. So like I said before, you don't have to break immersion. You can click on things and land that way, right? I think for New Atlantis, the first time we can't do that right now. No, there we go. We just had a few things to select. So we're going to go ahead and land in New Atlantis. And this is where the fun part starts because we are going to do some bad things. We are going to do some bad things here. Now we're landed We're you can get up out of your ship and kind of walk off if you want more immersion. Uh, for me, I don't care. Uh, you can see this is a beautiful, beautifully designed. This is a beautifully designed city. We're going to skip all of this right now. We're not going to worry too, too, too much. We're going to go uh, get set up because ultimately that's what this is for. You go at your own pace. For me, this is a guide. I'm going to get us through to the guide to what you need to do to get started. We are almost set here. This is going to be one of our favorite stores over here. We're going to come right this way. And you can see I am bleeding right now. And Sergeant also, Kim if you run out of oxygen, that will guard. also hurt you Contact as well. So we're going to go to Jimson Mercantile. And we're going to come on right over here. And we are going to Hi buy there. a few things. This Thanks is going to be our favorite in. shop to go to, to because it is one of the most convenient ones to do. Oh, please take a look. And we're going to go to aid and we are going to get something for our food. We are going to get something for our, yeah, water. We want that. We are, we have a pretty good amount of uh, credits, I think, to get this stuff. Yeah, uh, we are going, usually you want to get as much as you can for, um, you know, uh, the med packs. You want to get as many med packs as you can usually. Let's see, do we have anything to treat bleeding? Hmm. Do I have to keep going to somewhere else to get the bleeding healing? Okay. She does not have Thanks the healing that we Jemison need for Mercantile. that, but that's okay. It's you see, we have a uh, display of the shops here. Yes. The shops in Starfield look pretty cool. Uh, as most Bethesda games, you could see a uh, kind of assortment, you know, with the shop uh, over here. So we are going to the well. Okay. Now we will be able to have a uh, map and you can see the this is the new map system. Really cool. You can zoom in, kind of go wherever you want and actually see where things are now. And it will tell you in the map too what's on the planet. H2O, we have lead, we have air. I mean, argon, I don't know what AR is. I'm rusty on a periodic table of elements. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm rusty on that. Uh, so you can see we have a good map now. We're going to go down to the well and have. We're going to go down to the well and have some mischievous fun. OK, so uh, so when you get into the well, it's a night, a nice spot. 
we are going to go over here to UC Surplus. So right after you get out of the elevator, there's UC Surplus right here. Captain, um, Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. Do, 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 do. Okay, we can't get rid of Vasco yet, so we're going to go this way. Come in here, and you already know where this is going, right? You are you already kind of know where this is going. You already know. You already know where this is going, my friends. Ah, yes, we are going to sneak and steal. And we are going to steal some good stuff from this guy. But make sure you quick save throughout this process. Quick, quick save because the dude will pop up without you even realizing he's going to pop up. We do need ammo. We're going to take all of this stuff. And you can see we're doing it all without having to worry about him coming back here. But eventually he will come back here and he will see you. But here's the trick. Here's what we're going to do. We are sneaking right now. We're going to come over here. So if he can't see you, he will not get you. Now, what do you need to do? You open this and look, we got a micro gun. Now, that's really beneficial early on. And you can see he's walking over here, but he cannot see us. OK. Uh, I wish I should have got rid of Vasco and wherever we go, he will not be able if he can't see us, we can get away with uh, whatever we want to get away with. So I think I don't think he can see us here. And that's the thing. If you do uh, want to sneak and get some more stuff from him, it is good to have that sneak meter. It helps you out a lot. But you can see here, I will take this. And you can see he does not see it. And I will be able to take a whole bunch of stuff because we are out of line of sight. You also have to watch out for people up there because they can see you sometimes and get you. What do you think you're doing? So he caught me this time and I'm just gonna go through for simplicity's sake, but you're gonna come here and steal all of this stuff. So it's very easy to steal all of this what stuff. Do you think you're doing? Now I have a bounty. Right. Now. But that doesn't matater right now. Don't be Stop right there. Stop you now. See. All right. So we're just going to pay the You're credits. Now, make sure you quick save because he might catch you. So right now we're going to uh, take some more stuff here and you can kind of get in there and uh, get your stuff while you can. Now, once you start taking stuff, he will start walking over right now. Let's see where he is. So see, you can take a look and see where he is. And boom, we got we are stealing stuff from him. Come back over here. These are the weapons we're going to want to take, right? So make sure he can't steal you, but you have to be quick. You see, if you're quick, you can take all kinds of weapons from him. If you're quick, you can get all of these weapons that you're going to want to get up there. If you are quick, normally he walks away. It will reset. You ask me, the real new Atlantis is down here. But he is a tricky one. Now, when you when now when you steal stuff, the only there's only a few places where you can sell it. The trade authority is one of them. So right now we're going to go to the trade authority and sell, sell our stuff. Now, if I was if I was playing for myself, what I recommend for you guys to do is take some more stuff, steal some more stuff, quick save, and you know, you can get some more stuff out of it. So you can see here, I will quick save and see if I can get this one real quick too. So you can see I got that one too. So we just have something else to sell. So we're going to go right. So we left, uh, we left the UC sur surplus, right? We're going to come right down this way Something over to here to the left trade authority they are the number one the number one the best probably uh merchant because you could trade a lot of stuff with them so we're going to go ahead and go in here and we are going to trade this lady for some reason is kind of buggy sometimes where she's turned around completely uh so let's just go and say hi it's cliche but it's true get into her face buy and sell some illegal stuff there we go she turned around welcome to the tree if however you are the introduction to so, yeah what? to the authority and you could do that blah, blah 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 then my we're disclaimer looking around doesn't apply. Disclaimer doesn't Please, apply. let me know 
You we're going to go ahead selection? and uh, you're welcome to explore the dialogue, of course. So you are going to make sure you are go to sell. So you're going to make sure you go to sell and you could sell directly from your ship, too. So make sure you're in sell before you do it and waste your money. So we're going to go to our weapons. You can see anything with the red icon. That means it is stolen. We're going to sell it. You see, we have four Grendels. We don't need these. This, this gun is terrible. Sell all of them. Maelstroms. We have 11. We are going to sell them. We're going to sell the, the Grendel. We have Rescue Axe. We're going to sell them. And uh, typically, you will have other other weapons that you stole. So you could see, see that we stole this. 800 credits. That's pretty good. We're going to sell it. Even though it is a better suit for us, we're going to sell it. Because if we ever uh, get arrested or get caught with anything, they're going to take it anyway. So we are going to sell that, of course. Uh, we have a stolen helmet. We're going to sell that. So basically, you're going to come here, right? You're going to sell all your anything stolen else? gear you know where to find and buy as much ammo as you can for the weapon that you feel like using. Buy, buy all the ammo, okay? Buy ammo, buy med packs in the beginning. That's what you're going to want to do is buy ammo, buy med packs, okay? Uh, and then, you know, we're just going to go back out. Now, we are going to go to the UC and join the UC, I think, headquarters, I think, the main building. We're going to join the uh, UC Vanguard. That is the best quest line. It gives you some good gear and loot. So I do recommend doing that. Uh, so we're going there now. We're heading there now. And New Atlantis is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's pretty big. I do, I do like it. It does seem lived in. Uh, I think I turn. You could turn your MPZ, NPCs the up higher. But New Atlantis pleasing. is so the toughest city on me. graphics, so I New usually Atlantis turn mine. I usually have mine on medium. But you can see it's it's a beautiful power. looking city. The only minor complaint I have is I wish the flora looked a little bit different. But we are, uh, you know, on another planet. And uh, Jimison, and you know, uh, not everything is going to develop like earth trees, right? Not everything is going to develop that way. We are going to come over here and join the UC, right? In this building, it's called UC Mask, the Mask Building. And you can see they're swearing in some people right here, but it's right out of the gate when you come and turn around, and you're going to be in the UC Mask. And you can see here it is right above the train and we're going to come up the stairs go right over here and join the vanguard what do we got here another applicant to the uc vanguard interested in doing some and you can see this is why i chose the united colonies native so you do get a lot of dialogue with that oh well no uc citizenship is earned through service to the uc should have covered that in your civics classes. But if you're glad to hear it, signing up so all you've got to do is pep. We'll have you working your way to you. Well, all right, take the elevator down to the and if you've got any questions. So that is it. That is your quick start guide. You're going to come over here. You're going you're going to join the Vanguard now. The order you do the Vanguard missions in, missions in is up to you. That's your prerogative. From here on out, you are free to do what you want. Stealing from that. So let's recap. We want to set the settings properly. We want to go. You go through the first pi pirate base and loot whatever you can. You're going to go to Jemison Mercantile and sell and get as as uh, get your aid, get as many aid items as you can. It, you're going to want to buy some resources from the trade vessel uh, before you land on New Atlantis. You're going to want to go to the well. You're going to want to go to the UC surplus supply store. You're going to steal from that guy. You're going to sell everything that you can buy as much ammo as you can from the trade authority. You're going to come out of the UC mass, the building, and you're going to join the UC Vanguard. Once you join the Vanguard, you're in. You can explore and do what you want. Now, you do have to go to the lodge, okay? And you do have to join Constellation just so we can get Vasco out of our, you know, space. We can get him out of here. So you're also going to come around and join, you know, uh, Constellation. And you're going to bring them the artifact, so to speak. So right now we're on our way to Constellation. We are going to bring them the artifact. 
and uh, it'll give you a quest marker. It should be right around here. And you actually don't need to load any of the spaces in New Atlantis. You can get anywhere from any point. And, you know, I don't know why they have loading screens because the whole the whole city is loaded. I can go from here all the way to my spaceship. You could jump from that spot up there all the way down and there are no loading screens. So I'm not sure why there's a loading screen when you go through the tram system, when you go through the elevator. Here that part are. doesn't make Garage. sense to me because I could literally, Garage. like I said, jump from there Garage. down here Garage. anywhere Garage. without loading. The, the city's already loaded, so I don't understand uh, behind the scenes uh, why there's a loading screen for that. But if you do want to, you can get anywhere in New Atlantis without actually going through the loading screen. Once you get the jetpack, uh, you know, upgraded. When you get your jetpack upgraded, you can kind of go ham, right? And, you know, we're just going to join here. Uh, we have a we're going to get a room upstairs, you know, and, and this is where the story part begins. I don't recommend jumping into the story part right away. I recommend doing the UC quest line. Some of the quests around here are pretty good where you can join UC security. Those are interesting. But to really get started, do the UC Vanguard quest line. You're going to, I don't want to spoil it, but you're going to get a big reward at the end. That's going to set you up for the rest of the game. That will set you up. And that's it. You know, you go here, you give them the artifact, and that's it. We are done with the quick start guide, okay? So that is your quick start guide. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this was informative and that it helps people get started in Starfield and not feel overwhelmed or like they don't know what to do. Do all of those things that I showed you and you'll be set. All right. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I am going on my way to 200 subscribers. Thanks to everyone who likes my stuff. I'm glad you appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy watching. If you do like subscribe, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.